I love my Vision Pro, but I must say it is uncomfortable. Now, of course, this is probably one of the biggest issues with Vision Pro, and there have been plenty of attempts by various companies, including Apple themselves, to help improve the comfort level with all sorts of third-party straps and different solutions. Right now, I'm using the uh, dual knit strap, which is pretty new from Apple, along with the Anapro V2 head strap. And honestly, it's been quite comfortable, but it could definitely be better. I was looking back at my YouTube history. I think I've done like 10 videos testing out all sorts of different solutions. Some of them do better than others, but they're all pretty similar. It's some version of extra head mounting, extra straps to try to distribute that weight more effectively. Now today's video is gonna be a little bit different. This is the flit lift. I saw the craziest looking video of somebody using their Vision Pro, kind of having it suspended above them. And this product supposedly reduces almost all the weight by having this little wire kind of hold the Vision Pro up while you are sitting down at your desk or even you know walking around your room a little bit. This thing came in a pretty big box with a few accessories. Now, of course, this is the main piece of kit right here. Pretty heavy, pretty substantial. It attaches in this thing right here vertically. And then this part right here is going to either mount to your wall or you can clamp it to a desk or a chair or a table. Today, I'm gonna to test it on a desk or a table and see how that works. They do show it working with an office chair. I don't think my office chair is gonna be compatible because you do need some kind of flat mounting area on the chair, but we'll take a look at that later. They give you a whole Phillips head screwdriver, pretty cool, a couple of soft pads, some mounting screws, drywall screws, a level, and of course, this little Vision Pro attachment and this little part here connects to this part here and holds the Vision Pro in place. And I think we can just put this right on without taking anything off. And just like that, it is secure. So I don't think I'm gonna need to wear the Anapro or even the dual knit band with all of this attached when it's being held up by this rope. But I will go ahead, I'm gonna take off the Anapro and just use the dual knit band with this attachment. And here is probably gonna be a more realistic setup. When I did see this thing, I did reach out to the brand and they were nice enough to send me this unit for free, but they didn't make me promise anything in terms of what I'll say for this review. So honestly, I am super excited to try this out. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna install this clamp to my desk. I'm gonna show you how to install it and then we will try it out and see what it looks like. That actually just took maybe a couple minutes to install. Pretty easy. I'm a little worried having my Vision Pro hanging like this by a literal thread. Let's get that in focus. But it looks pretty good. I am very excited to try this on. Let me get the phone back on the tripod and we will see how this feels. I did decide to replace that weighted dual knit strap with just a single strap because that's what they really show on the product page with this device. And I think it's very specifically tuned for the weight of this one strap with the headset. It has a really nice way of kind of going up and down like a feather. Hold it here and it just floats. And then notice how it easily moves. If I let go, it kind of comes down a little bit and then it's kind of holding right here there's a little knob here to adjust. So, all right, this has been loosened all the way and that feels right in a sense. Like it's helping the weight a bit and there's a little bit of tension here, but it's not locked or it's not just falling aggressively. And as I tighten this, now it just floats right there. It doesn't want to go any further because now it's been locked into place. So let's go ahead and loosen it. Okay, we're gonna put it on and see how it feels. So it feels a little finicky at first to try to get into a position where it is super comfortable, but now that I've kind of found this balance here, I must say, it's feeling pretty comfortable. I got my virtual display up right now. 
As I look around like this, I'm reminded that of course there is a string here. I can kind of just feel the weight kind of going up towards the center, but I have enough freedom of movement where it actually does feel useful. I feel, I would say, zero pressure on my cheeks here. If you look carefully, as I kind of go like that, you'll see that the bottom of the Vision Pro, the bottom of the light seal, kind of comes up a little bit off the cheeks. If I almost counteract that by bringing this strap up pretty aggressively and tightening it, I feel like I want to actually wear the head strap a little bit differently when I'm attached to this device. This feels pretty good. First impressions don't tell the true story. So I'm going to go ahead and work on a project for an hour or so, and we're going to see how this feels after some more long-term usage. You guys saw how it was clipped on my desk. That was a really easy setup. This thing also attaches to the wall if you do want to mount it with some drywall anchors and do that whole thing. I honestly wasn't quite ready to drill holes in the wall for this, but I have my friendly assistant here who's going to help me hold it against the wall while I show you what it looks like when I'm standing up, moving around with it attached. First off, a cool feature is we can actually put the battery of the Vision Pro into this little slot. It holds there, I don't have to worry about putting my pocket or anything like that. So now we can see Vision Pro is connected. And while I'm standing here, we can of course adjust this mount up and down and find a spot that makes sense. But right here, I have plenty of room at eye level. I'll put this on and I can crouch, get on my tiptoes, move around, should be fine. So let's put it on and see how it feels. Before, when it was on my desk, you saw, we'll call it the top arm was coming from the side. Now we have it behind me, which might be a little bit more ideal so that I'm really being pulled up and down rather than any kind of angle from the side. Either way works, but I'm curious to see how this feels when the arm is kind of coming right out behind me. So let's go ahead and just walk around a little bit. I'm gonna look back and see, we got plenty of room. We can see this arm moves freely as I kind of go side to side. And I can even go a little forward like this, but I start to feel that wire going against my hair a little bit. So ideally, we want to be right below it. And now that we're all set, it feels great. There's no pressure on the cheeks, and I do feel a little bit of pressure of it kind of pushing up against the forehead, but much less pressure than I would feel if I was wearing this without any help from the string here. If I tighten it a bit more or loosen it, you know, loosening right here actually does make it a bit more comfortable because I don't need to have that tight support in the back anymore when it's being supported from above. And just moving around, it feels good. And now I'm actually doing a fitness app to see what it feels like moving around a little bit in free space while mounted to the wall. So as I do a little bit of this actual movement, this punching, that's where it does start to feel a little bit like it's wiggling up and down. And before I'd kind of just mentioned that I loosened this band a bit to make it more comfortable. So when I'm standing here, not moving too much, it actually does feel more comfortable when it's loose. But if I'm gonna be moving around, I do have to tighten this still. It feels a little bit better, but there's still this kind of weird like movement as I move up and down like this and walk around. So I honestly don't know if I would really recommend this if you're trying to do this for like any kind of fitness apps like this because of this kind of strange counterweight that's almost delayed when I go up and down. I have this shakiness versus when I am off of that and I'm kind of going around, it almost feels a bit more secure, but I do immediately feel more weight on the head. So there's that balance there of really trying to figure out, okay, do I want something that's gonna be lifting up, but maybe restricting my movement a bit because of that little bounciness, or do I just wanna be able to move around freely but feel that extra weight on me? So kind of depends on what your use cases are there. I would say having it mounted against the wall, if you're planning on moving around a lot, it might be a little bit difficult, but if you're just going to be standing, doing some stuff here, just walking around like this, not bad at all. Now let's go back to the desk.
that's actually been quite a joy to use. <laughs> it looks completely ridiculous, I realize that, but I think there might be a subset of people where this could be a really useful addition to your Vision Pro productivity or maybe even uh, home theater watching setup. As you saw, it looks like there's quite a bit of adjustment of really trying to get this thing right on the head, adjusting the strap, shifting the headset, in a way that's a little bit different from what I'm used to because again, you have this string that's kind of pulling up some weight. So there is just a different feel of having the device on your face, but it does a great job of taking a lot of the weight especially off of your cheeks. And if you get it right, kind of off your forehead as well. It's pretty versatile. You've seen it hooked up to my desk here with the clamp, but it also can hook up to really almost any flat surface like this. On their site, they show it being hooked up to a desk chair. Although with mine, there doesn't seem to be kind of a good flat place on the chair for it to be used, uh, but it can be used on a couch or even drilled into the wall if you wanna have uh, kind of a more almost like a standing setup or you have a good place where you can put that behind your wall. It's very secure. I feel happy just letting this sit here. Although uh, typically what I would do if I was gonna leave my desk, I would put it just like this hooked in. And now you have this interesting stand for the Vision Pro. So if you are one of these power users, you're always sitting at the same spot at your desk and you use your Vision Pro for hours at a time as an extra monitor or to watch movies, this might actually be a pretty cool device worth trying and might be worth the money for the right type of person, but that is for a very specific type of person. There are a lot of use cases where this won't work for you. You want to take a good look at the website, at the documentation, and kind of see what might work for your setup if you're interested in a product like this. But it's pretty interesting. It works, I would say, surprisingly well. And I think I might keep this on my desk for a little while and uh, continue to kind of play around and fiddle with it. And uh, yeah, that is a pretty interesting Vision Pro accessory. I have a link below. Take a look if you'd like. Thank you for watching. And let me know if you have any questions about this one. It's a little different from the normal Vision Pro head strap. So I'll keep an eye out on the comments. All right, thank you.